Hey guys, this is James and this is the start of something special. You may have seen the teaser from the other day, you may have seen our Oxford short, but this is the Mythic Booster channel and welcome to Pokemon Go. Okay guys, what I want to talk about is, I want to talk about why start this YouTube channel, why start it now? Um, and I think the answer is, uh, it's inspiration. Are the YouTube videos I've watched? Definitely, definitely, definitely Nick from Trainer Tips. He's someone I watch every day. Um, and he's a normal guy that loves playing Pokemon Go, that loves sharing great videos, and that's cool. And I, and I really, really inspired that. I also watched Ali A, I uh, also watched Lachlan, and you know what, I'm, I'm quite jealous of what these guys do. And for me, this is a way of sharing my enthusiasm and my passion for things that I enjoy. One of the main things I'm enjoying at the moment is Pokemon Go. And I really want to be able to share that with people. So what this YouTube channel is going to be about, it's going to be about playing Pokemon Go. It's going to be about going on adventures with all the people I go on adventures with. I have met so many amazing people. Uh, playing this game and I know they will be friends for a very very long time So I, I play every lunchtime and then on my days off I look for interesting places to go to play the game You know, um, I live in the southwest of England. We are surrounded by water here and it is it's a beautiful place so hopefully I'm gonna take you on adventures to Places locally, so I'm gonna take you adventures into Cornwall I'm going to take you into adventures onto the moors because I haven't done lots of exploring as to what Pokemon you can get out there. I mean, there is signal, there's 4G signal out there. Um, but I haven't done much explaining as to what we can find. I, when I very first started playing the game, I drove to the highest point on Exmoor um, because I thought, oh wow, yeah, knowing the geographics of the game, there might be something really cool up there. But not understanding the dynamics of Pokemon Go to do with getting rare Pokemon to do a signal. But I was really lucky to get a War Turtle on like the third day I started playing. And I started playing the American version of the game. I downloaded the American version and then changed over to the UK one when it came out. So we can go on to Exmoor, we can go to Plymouth, we can go to Exeter, really big beautiful city near here. Uh, we can go to Bristol. Uh, I'm a rock climber, I do a lot of rock climbing, I'm sure we'll experience some of that. We go to Bristol a lot to go rock climbing. We enjoy going to London all over and staying various places. I'm sure we'll go to London as well. I haven't actually been to London myself to play Pokemon Go. Yeah, so that'll be an experience we can share together. Yeah, we're gonna go around, we're gonna try and give you some information. I just wanna say thank you very, very much. I mean, this may not be everyone's cup of tea. No one might find this interesting at all, but the reason I'm gonna do it is because I'm gonna love it and hopefully I'm, I'm gonna enjoy doing it. Hopefully you're gonna enjoy watching it. Uh, hopefully we're gonna have lots of fun. This is the beginning of something really, really cool, I hope. Um, yeah, so we'll see what happens. Thanks guys, peace out. Okay, so, uh out in Vivory Park. Uh, this is sort of like the main place to sort of uh, just generally do a few loops, um, build up the uh, mileage to hatch some eggs. Uh, here with Ben, um, who I actually work with actually. Um, so he's one of our uh, KPs at work. Um, but basically, yeah, so we're sort of skating around, um, getting some mileage from eggs. Cat, Ben needs some poke stops, he's running low on Pokeballs, as we all do. Um, and yeah, we just basically just, just did a bit of mileage today. Um, managed to uh, hatch my Gyarados, uh, hatch my Gyarados, should I say, uh, evolve my Gyarados earlier on, which eventually had the perfect moves. Um, so yes, yeah, so it's really cool. So we're now just here, just sort of having a bit of a travel around on the board. Um, it's not lazy, it's just a hobby. Um, but no, it's good, it's really good for hatching the eggs actually, so that works really well. Um, much more efficient, yeah, exactly, yeah. So you can just like cruise down a few hills and uh, still get the mileage in. So yes, yeah, so it's a good day. So um, the, uh, the dreaded rain has held off, which is nice. Um, so we're still currently dry. I'm going back to work in probably half an hour. Um, very, very busy this week. I've been all week, which is un unlike me. I, I sort of tend to do three and a half days, but I've been doing eight days in the bounce when I finish on Friday. Uh, and then I have got three days off. So I've got the whole weekend off on Monday. And then I've got two days off next week. So I think I'm gonna go away with Lisa over the weekend we might end up going somewhere really really cool um, obviously we get a chance to play the game a little bit um, when we go away we try not to sort of load the game up too much because you know just remember you've got to have a life as well you can't wander around just looking at your phone you know go and, and uh, as everyone says you know look up from your home phone once in a while if you've got a Pokemon Go Plus use that and just have a look around enjoy what you're doing so we're almost at the end of our loop um, I think we're going to swipe a few more Pokestops 
paired back down to the cars and uh, both make a move so uh, yeah keep watching and uh, obviously click a like button if you're in, uh, enjoying watching give us some comments if there's anything you'd like to see and uh, yeah me and the guys will be uh, out and about and uh, catching some things and uh, having a bit of a laugh soon so keep watching cheers guys here with uh, Dave, I actually run the hot sausage company uh, in Taunton, uh, really good hot dogs by the way, um, if you're either in Taunton, um, and he plays the game as well, um, and we just sort of catch up and have a bit of banter, but what I've just found out now is I'm just, just, just about to uh, evolve my third Gyarados now, it's a massive magic carp, it's about 208 CP, unpowered up with 93% IP, so it should be absolutely massive, um, so we'll have a look and see what we get. Okay, right, so um, we're skating to one of the normal spots at the moment. Uh, this is, as with uh, all of these locations, where lots of people are, because there's lots of mobile phone signal, so that's of course where the Pokemon are. So we're going to Morrison's, over there somewhere, and uh, we're gonna see what we can find. We're gonna get some food, which will be good, because we're all quite hungry. And uh, there's also two lures down here, which get, lured up quite a lot which is quite kind of handy um, so we're gonna go and do these stand by the river it's quite nice um, yeah we're gonna see if there's any lures on and chill out have a bit of food and yeah and see what occurs so uh, we'll uh, find out what happens there so I was just trying to not get run over by a bike there so uh, yeah fine do a bit of a spin down by the river a bit of Jake in the background and we've got Ryan here as well what have we got on the uh, the nearby, bro? Yeah, we got two slow pokes just popped up. Slow poke. We've got side duck. Exceptional there. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Could always do with another slow, bro. Uh, one of the top. I think it's one of the top defenders actually. Um, it's got really good HP. And obviously then we've got slow king in Gen 2. Uh, we're not entirely sure quite how they're going to do that yet, uh, as I believe slow, bro, was potentially evolved from friendship. So maybe you'll have to walk with it as a buddy for a certain distance. Maybe that'll work. Um, so, as you come up to here, we've got a bit of a bandstand. So the other good thing about this is, well, it's quite a good place to chill out if it's raining as well. So I'm sure we'll uh, end up here many a time. Because um, it's just a place to chill and it's a really good place to find magic, farm magic carp as well. And who doesn't need another Gyarados? So we're all here. And I said, down by the river as well, actually by Somerset County Cricket Ground. Um, so that's another good reason as well, when there's big games on. Um, loads of mobile signal, we've had really cool stuff. Our Dragonites down here before, Snorlax is another cool thing. Uh, anyway, for the time being, we're gonna get some food and uh, we'll catch you in a bit. So, um, as I said before, we've been doing a 9, 10k air catch um, on Pokemon Go, which was quite cool. Uh, took me about almost three months potentially to do it. Um, and I've been walking with them from yesterday to today, well, on the longboard anyway. Um, and we've now got up to near the castle in Taunton, uh, so it's just local for me. Uh, on my lunch break, and um, now we're going to see what we've got. Okay, so we've got the first one. Let's see what we got. Off we go. One of nine. One of nine. Hitmon Lee. Okay, I'll take a Hitmon Lee, that's fine. So I haven't got a really good IV one. I caught one in the wild, but it's not very good. 821 with Rock Smash and Stone Edge, which may be the best move set. So that's quite cool. Excellent, okay. So we'll star all these up and we'll check the, in fact, let's have a look now. Praise simply amazes me. Excellent, so above 82% IVs, HP and excellent stats. So potentially really good. Okay, so let's uh, have a look at the second egg now, see what we've got, okay. So I should imagine, here we go, okay, cool. So we've got, really want a Snorlax or a Dratini because then I can do my own Dragonite. 
EV, okay, cool. So that's uh, hopefully a good EV for either Umbreon or Espeon for Gen 2. So I've got good EVs from the Covenant, you know. So let's have a look. We've got on the appraisal, simply amazes me. Attack is strong, blown away by stats. So another good EV. Okay, so we will favourite that one so we can check it out properly later to get exact ID. What have we got now then? Okay, third one. Yes, see, that's what we wanted, Dratini, see, one out of nine. It could have all been jinxes and just rubbish, but we'll see. Okay, so that's quite cool. Go on, simply amazes me, this is what we need. 149 Dratini candy. Strong. Ah, oh, it could still have 80% IVs though, it's all cool. We'll have to check it out properly. Attack is strong, excellent stats. Um, it could still be good, it could still be good, that's fine. We'll favourite that and we'll come back to that in a minute. Okay, cool, right, this is the fourth one now, I believe. Right, okay, where are we at then, let's go. Okay, I've just got to say thank you to Jake for videoing this as well, actually, all the, all the guys that I've been out catching with, um, I think have been uh, waiting for this almost as long as I have now, so we'll, we'll, we'll see. So an Omnite, oh, it's cool, my brother-in-law actually lives near an Omnite nest in Plymouth. Um, so on the Hope Park, there's an Omnite nest, and that's quite cool. Um, so Omnite, is it going to be simply amazes me because we can definitely get another Omastar strong. Okay, yeah, it could be above 80%, but we'll see. So, okay, let's save that one. And then we'll move on again, five, so just over halfway through. Another Dratini would be good with a simply amazes me IVs. That's what we want, or a Snorlax. Snorlax would be good. I think we're definitely due a Jinx at some point. Okay, cool. So if this is higher, I've got a low level Onyx with good moves. Uh, rock throw and rock slide. Uh, if it simply amazes me, it's potentially a good one for Steelix. Strong. We keep on getting lots of strong Pokemon. This is uh, frustrating at the moment. Let's see. So we'll save that one. We'll go straight into the next one. See what happens there. So this is six, maybe, or seven. Six or seven. Don't know what's spawning in the background. Another Omni, okay. I don't know what the last one was, 621 maybe, potentially 621, so that's 609, and simply amazes me again. Defense, excellent stats, okay. It keeps on saying, it always points out in the um, appraisal actually, whether it's a small Pokemon or sizable, it kind of makes you wonder actually whether the size of a Pokemon's gonna come into it at some point. I think it may do, I don't know if it's gonna be to do with some sort of Easter egg to do with Ditto, possibly. But at the same time, I think it maybe it's to do with getting different Pokemon. Maybe you'll need different sizes. Okay, so on to the next one. What are we gonna get now? Let's have a look. We've got Snorlax, come on. <laughs> Wherever these eggs come from, I'm not going there to get 10K eggs again. Okay, so. Tackle and Rock Slide. I can't remember what the best move set is for Onyx. I say I do have one with good IVs and a good move set. So I suppose I could use that one for Steelix. We'll see. Okay, let's keep going. Don't know how many got it. It's either one more or two more. So Snorlax or Dratini. And at the end of this, we may do, if that, if that Dratini had good IVs, we may even do the, see, we had to have one. We had to have one. There'll be somewhere, someone in the world that doesn't get jinxes and they'll be like ecstatic by this. Here, not so much. Let's have a look if it has got good IVs. Strong, so maybe above below 80%, we'll see. Pound and Ice Punch, I don't think that's a great move set either. So, let's have a look. So we'll move on, and there might be one more. There's one more, I'm pretty sure this is the last one now. The last one, fingers crossed, Snorlax or another Dratini. We've had, we, you know, we've had our fair share of weird stuff. Omnite I'd take actually. See, the worst thing about that is, I said I'd take an Omnite. I didn't actually mean I'd take an Omnite. <laughs> what I actually meant was, I'd take a Kabuto. Because a Kabuto, a Kabutops is another Pokemon I don't have. You can hear Jake giggling in the background because that was one of those flukes that will never happen again. But however, what does make me wonder though is, um, there's been a lot of talk as to whether where you get your eggs affect what you got. <laughs> So it'd be worth checking those three Omnites and see if I got those three 10k eggs from the Omnite nest. So that might be something else we can have a look at as well. Okay, cool. So I've now got to my egg screen. This is a screen I haven't seen for a while. 
and um, quite gallingly it's just like looking at me with a great big empty egg saying collect more eggs apparently 9 10ks wasn't enough apparently you know for my troubles there you end up with a load of on nights a couple of onyxes and a jinx and an ev we'll see what that dratini is in a bit anyway um thank you for watching um i hope you enjoyed the 9 10k actually you know there's might be more cool stuff there but we'll see thank you very much guys cheers Okay, so what we're going to do now, um, we did those 10 kegs, which was quite cool actually. We sort of went through, we've appraised a few. Um, a load of the Onyxes were all 80%. Uh, I've got a good IV Onyx, which is kind of pointless really in the meta game at the moment. Um, Steelix is definitely going to be better, because um, there's not a lot of Steel type Pokemon. Obviously, you've got Meta Gross and things like that coming along. Um, so, yeah, we'll save on to those for the candies. Um, Eevee was good, so that's some good Eevee um, as well. Um, but what we have got now is we did work out our Dratini was bang on 80% for the IVs. Um, so what we're going to do now, that would be quite cool, is just to evolve it all the way through to Dragonite. It'll be the first Dragonite I've evolved, um, rather than Core, and hopefully we should have a good Dragonite. With two Dragon-type moves, which I think is Dragon Claw and Dragon Pulse, maybe? We'll have to double-check that. Okay, so, so my Eevee. If we come over here, um, the EV that we've got is 536. We call it Dratini 80. Um, I'll show you actually, maybe in a different video, how I um, label up my Pokemon so I remember what they are. So let's go for it. Let's 150 Dratini candy and we'll evolve this. So we'll get a decent dragon there and we'll go from there. So I've never seen this before. This is a new one. I've not seen anyone else evolve one. Obviously, I've caught a Dragonair, and um, we're doing quite well in the Pokedex now. I think I'm up to 137 Pokemon, so I need about four or five, uh, maybe four, um, obviously excluding legendaries. So that's taken up to a 966 Dragonair. Um, obviously, we've got the glitch with the names, what you can do. If you don't know this, we'll just do this very quickly. Delete the name, click OK, and it just renames it. So that's quite handy, really good thing to know. Um, obviously we only need 100, we've got some Stardust. Let's power it up so we can have the biggest Dragonite we can get. You watch it, I'll go too far now, we won't have enough candies to do the Dragonite, that would be funny. So, 1000 Dragonair, still 122 candies, we can keep going. I don't know what the multiplier is for Dragon, uh, Dragonite off the top of my head. 119 candies, we're now up to 3 candies a go. This is where my maths come into play now. <coughs> 113, we can do more, it's fine, these are 110. We're all good, we're on, we're on safe numbers at the moment. Uh, 110, still three, let's do it again. This is quite a big dragon there now, 1135. We can still do it again. 1159, four candies, and it's gonna take three, so we can do one more and then we'll do the evolution. Oh, error, what's happened there? Ah, okay. Um, there's this glitch at the moment. If, I don't know if a few people have noticed this about the glitch, Angie. You can keep on using your candies and it gets to a point where you've used them, but it doesn't show you've used them. So let's have a look. So now if you look, it's saying I've got 6,554 candies. If I click OK and then refind that Dratini I've been powering up, or that Dragonair that I've been powering up, 1159, click back in, and I've now only got 3,044 Stardust left. So yeah, a bit of a strange one. Anyway, so 1,159 Dragonair. Let's do the evolution and see what happens. It's quite a cool looking Pokemon actually, Dragonair. I really quite like it. Um, let's have a look. And there it is. Cool. It's definitely the most cartoony looking Pokemon, I think. It's got a very cartoony looking face. So it's a 2,344 Dragonite with, I believe, the best moveset as well. Dragon Breath and Dragon Pulse. Either which way, it's two dragon moves, so it's getting stab off of both of them. Um, it's really, really cool. So I'm gonna leave it at that. We're gonna look at some more tomorrow. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. Cheers, guys. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the first episode of uh, the Mythic Booster channel on Pokemon Go. We're gonna put an episode Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. The Monday episode is gonna be all about the weekend. Hopefully, we've gone to some really cool destinations. We're gonna keep trying to catch all of those Pokemon. Hopefully, waiting for Gen Two to come really soon. I'm gonna keep giving you some amazing content. Keep watching, remember to subscribe, remember to follow us on Twitter, at Mythic Booster, also on Instagram, and hopefully we'll see you again soon. This is the Mythic Booster channel, and we'll see you next time.